Hello again. I'm Lisa from Puzzles by Lisa on Instagram and I have a really cute Ravensburger collection. And today it's going to be a very, very long video because as you can see, we're going to go through all the Jelini puzzles that actually exist uh, in 300 pieces in a ball. And that's going to take some time to do because there are a lot of them. Um, so to start with, the Jelini are just really cute creatures, gummy bears that evolved over time. You'd see some of the older ones when they looked a little bit less cute and then how they actually became super amazing cute. Um, and you, they were created all by Jorg uh, Zardanichek. I hope I'm pronouncing them correctly. I actually don't know for real. They are very popular in Germany and unfortunately very hard to get in the US or some other places. Uh, but yeah, I do have to say, I thought at the beginning that I'm not going to like them as much. And I thought, okay, I'm just gonna buy, do them and then just sell them. But I did fall in love with them at some point after I think the second puzzle. So I have most of them. I sold a few, but I, I still have most of them. And let's start because we have forever to go with that. So we start with uh, two 300 pieces, or not a lot of 300 pieces. Uh, I'll try to actually like have the puzzles close enough so you could see them. So this one is called Birthday Party. It's from 2014. It was really fun to do. Really beautiful, cool puzzle. It actually shows up in another puzzle, so please remember it because it's going to come back in another 500 piece. Uh, there is a puzzle of Jolini actually like putting together a jigsaw puzzle and they put together this puzzle So again, take a close look because you can see that later uh, Really enjoyed that one. It's easy 300 piece. It's perfect uh, And it's Jolini. So what can I say? The other 300 piece as I said it's called fun in the classroom and it's from 2016 uh, Easy to do really fun I am trying to get you focused on this one, so I hope that actually works. And you can see here, they're in a classroom. They do really cute things in the classroom. Most of us, I guess, not do not have such fun in the classroom, but the Jolinis always do. Starting with the 500s, I'm gonna start with uh, one that's called Breakfast Coffee uh, from 2010. I actually do not have it anymore because I sold it and this one is a really really cute Jelini puzzle you could see uh, in the puzzle because you could see or know the photo hopefully um, that they're making coffee and they're giving some chocolate putting some cream uh, really really cute puzzle I really enjoy doing that uh, but I sold it quickly after and as you can imagine Jelinis are very easily sellable so if you have one and you want to sell it, I'm sure that there would be a lot of people, especially in the U.S., happy to buy it from you. Okay, so let's go with this one. Uh, this one is Jelini called In a Treasure Hunt. It's from 2003, and it's a brilliant puzzle. Like, if you don't know brilliant puzzles, basically, first of all, they're quite shiny to start with. But they also come with special kind of stones that you can um, that you can really just like glue it onto the puzzle. I never do that because I like my puzzles very clean and I want to do them again or sell them or whatever. But uh, some people actually really enjoy gluing those on top of the puzzle. So brilliant puzzles are. Some of them are hard to get, but they're always fun. I might do another video just on brilliant puzzles but again this one in a treasure hunt from 20 2003 next we have an old puzzle as well it's called stars uh from 2005 uh it's the old technology as you could see but it is really really beautiful it, this one is not actually as easy because like all of that Especially in the old technology is not clicking as well, but it is looking very beautiful. You could see the photo, the image in the end. Uh, really cute the way that they're dressed. Really cute the way that they basically play. I really, really enjoyed this one. 
Next one, we have one that I haven't done yet. It's called Shopping with Frida, and this one is from 2007. Yorgadur Dynashek actually is doing them for many, many, many years. Uh, I think the oldest one is from 2003. The, the newest one it sees from 2021, 2022, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Um, Shopping with Frida. This is Frida. Uh, they have names, by the way. If you want to find out, you can actually check the Jolini website. This one is a really cool uh, puzzle called DIY Fun from 2016, so quite new. Uh, as you can see in the DIY world, they are making a mess, but having fun like Jolini always does. And now we have this one, which is basically called Baby Jolini's from 2018. Uh, these baby Jolinis are really, really cute. I was lucky enough to actually find it new. I, I didn't actually make an effort to find it new, and it was very, very expensive, unfortunately. But happy to have it. Need to do it. And then the next one, and we'll see another one actually from that uh, stuff, says, All Good Things Come From Above from 2003. You can again see this is all technology. You'd see them skydiving in a 1,000 piece later soon. Uh, really, really cute puzzle. I totally love the Jolinis. As I said, if you don't like them, maybe you shouldn't try them because you might actually find that they're awesome. Uh, so if you're afraid of getting addicted to them, stay away. If you're already addicted to them, good for you. Okay, so the next one you can see a photo of because again I sold it. It's called Group Photo and it's from 2003. Uh, and it was a really fun puzzle to put together. Of course, you can imagine it's not as easy as some of the ones that like don't have as many Jolinis in them because they do have like lots of Jolini. Again, all the technology, a bit more tricky in some places where the colors are the same. But it was a beautiful puzzle and I sold it so I don't have it anymore. But I always have photos of what I had so at least you can see that one. So that is great. So another older one, 500 pieces called Above the Clouds also from 2003. Also old technology. You can see actually the Jolinis here look a bit different than the cute Jolinis of later on. So it's really like a different type of... It's either they're bigger and maybe a bit less cute than they became later. Definitely less colorful. Um, so they are improving with time. Now we have a very rare one. It's called Tr True Love from 2004. And here you see that they're starting to look more like today's Jolini. Uh, they have the different colors and they are so cute. And you'll see another one that's very romantic soon. Uh, but this is the first one that we see here. And here is the other romantic one. So this one is a very, very rare, very, very expensive puzzle called Romantic Evening from 2006. And this one, you see here it says that it's a star line. What it basically means is that it is glowing in the dark. And I'll just put the photo so you can see actually how it glows in the dark. Uh, but it's glowing in the dark, so that means that uh, you can enjoy the puzzle in a different way after you... Put some light on it and then turn off the light. Um, really cool stuff in Starline, but this is one of the only ones in Jolene. And then another very, very rare one is called The Escape. Uh, that's from 2003. Again, you can see that's an old... You can imagine this one is actually tough because there is lots of brown everywhere 
again, the Jalinis themselves don't look like the new ones. They're a bit older. They're starting to get cute though, but uh, definitely different than today. Uh, so it was really, really hard to get, very expensive. And I was actually really not happy because some of the pieces are not in the best shape. Um, and I did pay a ton of money for this one, unfortunately. Another cute one is called Pizza Pizza from 2003. Again, you can see it's actually weird. It's 2013. Yeah, it couldn't be 2003. I was suspicious because of the blue piece of the soft click. So it's not 2003. Sorry. 2013. Just my list is actually incorrect. Uh, super cute pizza. It's easy. Jolini's actually like to cook. You'd see a few more cooking Jolini stuff. And they like basil and any other type of, um, additional, you know, spices that grow. Another very cute one. This one is called Diving Adventures, and it's from 2007. And you could see that it already has the blue piece. So 2007 was the year that they already had a bunch of puzzles and then new technology. This one was fun, easy, cute. Jellinis are doing exercise. You'll see more of that coming. Oh, and here's the one I promised you. And apparently, the last 500 that we're uh, going to see, uh, this one is called Jellini Solving Jigsaws. And that's from 2017. And as you could see, hopefully... The puzzle that they're doing is a birthday puzzle with the 300 pieces that we've seen earlier. Uh, so this is not this is not a super easy puzzle because actually it has uh, a bunch of uh, pieces that make it a bit harder with all the jellies in the puzzle itself. But that was actually pretty great. Really cool for people that love puzzles to do a puzzle of jellies doing puzzle. Okay, it's time to start the giant piles of the 1,000. So we'll start with this one. This one is called the Jolini's Having Breakfast from 2002. And you can see here the pink piece. I explained in the past, but I'll just explain again. Uh, you saw that in the 500, the piece is kind of orange because the 1,000 is pink. It shows pink. The... Let's look at it again. Just one minute. The 500 is orange, so the piece is orange. So it used to be matching the number, and then when it changed to soft click, it all changed to blue. Uh, but here you can see Jolini's having breakfast, 2002, uh, old technology. Next, we have a really, really fun puzzle called Office Nights from 2013. This was super fun to do, as usual. And you can see the Jolini's here. And you can see that they're using technology. And they have everything that's needed for an office. Uh, very fun puzzle. Nice to do. Easy. Quick. And the last one in this pile is called Jolini Bookshelf. And you can see the Jolinis in the bookshelf. Uh, this one is from 2015. Very, very cute puzzle. Jolinis are just everywhere in the house. They're in the office. They're eating breakfast. They're doing a lot of activities and stuff. Here they're in a bookshelf. And the next one you're going to see is called Squeaky Clean. Uh, I unfortunately sold it, but you can see the Jolinis in the sink having fun. Uh, I mean, some of them seem to be thinking that's a pool, which is probably working for them because they're pretty tiny. Uh, if you never tried to put gummy bear in water, that's actually like an interesting experiment. They are kind of swall swelling like that, so... 
we tried that one time and it was kind of interesting. But Jolinis are Jolinis, so maybe they don't go through that. So anyway, squeaky clean. They're cleaning. They're treating it like a pool. They have fun. And I do not have that one anymore. I think that this puzzle is from 2009, but I'm not sure because I did make a good note on that before I sold it. So if you know, then you can let me know. Well, let's continue with our next giant pile because we're going to take forever to finish this. Uh, so this one's called At The Office. It's from 2006 and pink piece, all technology. So you can see that beautiful one. Uh, it's different than the office that they had in office nights, which was much more new. So you could see here, well, at least they still have a nice screen, which is thin, not like the old ones. It would be really, really funny to actually see probably like a 2000 thing, but they don't have it. Uh, but you could see there in the office, they are having a bit more paper than in the new office. Next, a really, really fun puzzle called On a Safari from 2007. And this is a panorama puzzle and again, all technology. So that means it's very, very long. So let's say if you do your stuff, uh, your puzzles on a foam board, 20 by 30 is just not going to be enough for that because this is going to be a long puzzle, even though it's like very narrow. So it works dimension wise. It's 38 and a half on 14 and a quarter inches. Uh, but that's why it cannot fit in the 20 by 30 because it's actually longer. I promised you earlier another skydiving. So this is called skydiving and it's from 2004. So basically the second one that goes with that, uh, it is actually like new technology. This is a panorama, but on the other direction. So that's definitely like an interesting one. Let me just verify. Uh, it's actually from 2010. I guess I have mistakes today in my notes, so I need to fix them. Um, so that I'm always suspicious if it doesn't look like the piece color is correct for me or what I, what I would think that the year is supposed to be. Um, so yeah, no skydiving here. They skydove in the 500 pieces. Uh, so again, this is going to be a long puzzle, harder to take a photo. Now, ultra rare winter fun from 2007. And you can see the old piece here. Uh, very, very hard to get puzzle. It's a beautiful one. Really cute. Really, really beautiful. Really, really hard to get, unfortunately. And here you can see it. Another fun one. It's called Goal. And that's from 2006. Again, old technology. Really, really fun puzzle. Really, really beautiful. Um, Jalinis. A bit different than the new Jalinis. I told you, like, if you look actually like in older years, they look a bit different. So they look a bit bigger. They're maybe a little bit less cute. Their mouth is a bit different. It's like we, we can compare that to the new ones. And that one that's like a homage for like the other thing. It's called Gummy Bears on Lunch Break from 2012. And as you can see, it has the very famous pictures of uh, the lunch break, but the Jolinis are on it. And they are all Jolinis. They don't look like the new ones even though they're really cute. Uh, so very, very beautiful puzzle. A bit harder than the other ones because of all the black and white. So one that I sold is called On the Beach. And that one is from 2006, all technology. Uh, this was a really fun puzzle. The Jolinis are just having fun at the beach. And you could see if you look closely, some of them are getting suntanned and some of them are building uh, sand castles and some of them are 
just basically like in the water. Uh, it was really, really fun to do. Uh, and I sold it, so I don't have it anymore. Okay, let's continue with our endless amount of puzzles. We're getting there, so we'll have a lot to do though. Uh, so we have this one, it's called Jolini Beauty Tag, and it's from 2005. You'd see them actually like having beauty stuff like from other places as well, but you could see they are using some lipstick and mascara and they have like makeup brushes and they make a little bit of a mess because maybe they don't know what to do with makeup uh but that's what they do here so we'll see another one here in a moment uh another old one it's called connection bar and this one is from 2003 and you can see that the old Jolinis are a bit bigger, their mouth is bigger, the pink piece, very beautiful, but older puzzle. And another very old one, and again, different Jolinis, it's called It's Summer at Last, and that's from 2003. Jolinis are big, Jolinis are yellow, Jolinis are having a different face and mouth than the new Jolinis. They're cute, they're different. That's good for collectors. And another old one, pink piece as well. This is, of course, called Abbey Road, and it's from 2003. And as you could see, it's a homage for Abbey Road. Very surprisingly, they're walking exactly like the Beatles. They're giant. They have a different face, different mouths, different colors, different everything than the normal Jolini's. That works pretty well, because they need only four. I guess the small Jolinis just wouldn't work for that. But there is lots of Jolinis in the back here. So we said Jolinis like activities. So here they are doing Jolini Fitness, and that's from 2008. Uh, but it's already new technology, so that's actually fun. And you could see that they look like the new Jolinis. So I guess 2008 was already a year that they looked like normal. Um, Jolini Fitness, very fun. They're biking. Okay, another star line. And the second one and only one that we're going to see now uh, at this side is called Pear Party. You can see that's interesting because, first of all, it has 1,200 pieces, not 1,000 pieces. Uh, it's called Pier Party. It's from 2014. It glows in the dark. It's very hard to get. It's very, very, very hard to get. I can't say that enough. But, yeah, this is it. Jolini like summer. They like vacation. Uh, this was called Jolini in the Summer, and this one is from 2017, and you could see that is a very cute puzzle. They're sitting in the sun, um, having fun, playing cards, doing all of the good things that people do in summer. And another Jolini having fun. This one is called Game Night with Jolini. And the Jolinis here just have fun at Game Night. Um, and this one is from 2017 as well. Yes, looks like it. Um, so yeah, they're playing games, having fun. Jolinis. Okay, and then this is the newest Jolini of them all. It's from 2022, and this one is called Jolini at Times Square. It was really cute to do, and I really want to show you some stuff here, like up close, because that has a lot of other Jolinis. So you see, that's a Jolini breakfast that we've seen earlier, that the Jolini pier party that we've seen earlier, uh, that that we'd see later. It's like a 3,000 piece puzzle. Uh, but you can see here is the one in the summer that we've just seen. So basically here they are skydiving. So all a here's romantic evening that I told you earlier. 
Um, here they are at lunch break. Here is the escape. So the, that puzzle actually has a lot of other Jolini puzzles in it that are just hiding slash not hiding. Just like show up in that. Um, so I found it really fun to do with that refall for other puzzles. Well, we're getting there. Sorry, it takes forever. They did a lot of puzzles. It's not my fault. Uh, okay. The next one is, we said Jolini is actually like the beauty stuff. So this one is called Jolini in the Beauty Salon. And that's from 2016. And you can see here, they learned what to do with the makeup. Unlike before, that they did a very bad job on this one. But this one, they're doing a good job. They look nice. They seem to be using the mascara correctly. Maybe like too much blush. But other than that, looks kind of nice. So this one is called Jolini, Jolini, Jolini. It's from 2020. I haven't done it yet. It's new, as you can see. Kind of scary. I would say that's why I didn't do it yet, but I will. I will, I promise. Uh, yeah, crazy. This is the next one. It's called At the Picnic, and it's from 2020 as well. Uh, very beautiful puzzle. Uh, again, Jolini's like having fun going outside, doing some good stuff for themselves. So that's what they're doing here. And that's the last 1,000 piece that we have. It's called Jolini Wellness. And that one is from the year 2007. It actually exists in 1,500 piece harder to get though. Uh, but this one exists also in 1,000. So if you like Jolini's, you can see this puzzle is actually pretty common. Um, cute. Let's go to the 1500 pieces. We have four of them. So first and very rare is called Gardening Jolini and it is from 2012. And this was really, really fun to do. It was the first 1500 that I did, I believe. Um, maybe the second, I don't know. Uh, but basically super cute. Um, I mean, there are some parts here that are a bit tougher, but Jolini's are always easy if you start from the Jolini's themselves. And after you start doing Jolini, you can actually identify where are the ears and where are the nose and stuff like that. So you can actually get much better in like figuring out the Jolini's. Like really, really cute, really, really expensive puzzle. Next one is this one, which is called Jolini's Christmas Bakery. And this is from 2021. You need to see that up close. Again, the, the 1500, they start easy and then they get harder because there's lots of yellow and flour and stuff here. But I mean, you have like 70% of the puzzle is really easy and then it becomes a bit tougher. Look at this, just so cute. And then another hard to get, it's called uh, Wellness Jolini and this is from 2011. Look how cute that is. Oh my god. So I really, really enjoyed this one. I love the Buddha. <laughs> it's like so cute. The rocks and everything else. Just really, really beautiful. And this one is Jillian Family from 2019. You can see here close the Jillinis. So, I think the first time that we see a Grandma Jolini, uh, but yeah, I don't think that it exists in any of the other puzzles. But apparently there is a Grandma Jolini, which makes sense, and a Grandpa Jolini as well. Okay, we're moving to the 2000s. We also have actually like four of them, uh, some of which are very rare. Uh, so starting with this one, this is a bit less rare. It's called Passionate Cooks. It's really, really fun to do in their cooking. And very surprisingly, it's like a little bit like the pizza one because they make pasta here. So I guess Giolini is like Italian food. Uh, they have tomatoes, they have basil. 
I told you they like it. They have flour. They, we know they like it. So here we go. Nice and cute. Was easier than some of the 1500s, by the way. Rare, rare, rare Giolini called Giolini's uh, um, Wild Christmas, and that's from 2010. Uh, you can see that one. It's a limited edition Christmas. It says here, limited edition, and it is a blue uh, box because it's like Christmas limited edition. This was so much fun, and it's so hard to get, and it's so expensive, unfortunately, but really one of the best Christmas puzzles ever. I've done it um, just before Christmas because it looked like a good time to do it, um, so it was beautiful and amazing. I wish it wasn't so hard to get these. One that's newer, uh, it's called Giolini at the October Festival, so October Fest. Uh, from 2020. I didn't do it yet. That's the only 2000 that I haven't done yet. Uh, but you can see it up close. And it's really nice because it's like a bunch of photos. And the Giolini are in them. It's cute. And then the last 2000, which is also really, really hard to get. It's called Home Improvement. And this one is from... 2000 and what 2011 so you could see that up close it's beautiful it's very nice and they have a bunch of different things to fix the house they are taking off the wallpaper and putting some other stuff and uh again very hard to get very rare very very expensive to get this one but it is such a great puzzle Okay, next we're going to look at two or three thousand pieces and we're actually going to try to look at the differences between them. Uh, so, we have one that's called Traveling Jellini. Let me just verify that's the right one. Yes. So, Traveling Jellinis is a puzzle that we have from 2015. And I want you to look at it really closely. Because you'd see another one that looks almost the same if you don't look closely. Um, so you see that there is this suitcase, which is silver. And then there is those Giolinis. But now I'm going to show you another one. And this one is called German Tourists. And it is from 2019. Now you could claim... Wait a second, the whole difference is that the suitcase here is just brown. But it's not exactly true. And let's try to actually see what happens. So you can see that Jolene has actually moved a little bit, some of them. They do have a bunch of things in common. I don't know if you can see that. I hope so. My hands are going to drop the whole thing in a moment. <laughs> and a lot of the photos that they hold are the same. It's so like, for example, like this guy here is holding a photo which is similar to what he's holding here but a lot of the other things actually have changed so it is different even though it might look kind of similar hopefully you can see that now last but not least is Jelini dollhouse and that is basically a puzzle from 2018. 5,000 pieces. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I need to do it. Um, I can't say enough about that. Let me actually show that to you up close. It's definitely worth it. Five thousand pieces is a lot of pieces. I can tell you that. Well, with that, I think we can say we finished all the Giolini puzzles. We have seen a lot of them, um, probably something like 60. So, well, let's hope we get some more of them. Let's hope they become more available. Uh, thank you, Yorg Zardinicek, for doing that amazing set of puzzles. And I am sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. 
Um, thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please request more cool collections that you want to see and I will do my best to actually make that happen. Uh, please go to Puzzle by Lisa and uh, Puzzles by Lisa on Instagram and uh, add me there too. Follow me. Um, and if you wait a minute or two or three, you would be able to see all the completed Jillian puzzles that I've done at the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and survived a long Jillian collection. I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.